Hello there. Very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us here on Idea World. Listen, tonight we team up with Planet Cruise. For many of you, this is a regular show that you tune in for. And in fact, if you go, where's Sean? Sean is actually on a cruise right now. He's out and about. I've wrote the ship down. He's on the Eclipse with Celebrity Cruises, so he's having a great... Look, look, we've got some photographs. He's out on Celebrity Cruise having a great time with friends and family, which is absolutely awesome. Now, it's really important you understand that during this show that there's going to be a different phone number. So if you've got us in speed dial, as I do world, look out for the number when it comes up on the screen. I'd also, if there's any questions we don't get to answer, because we're going to try and squeeze seven cruises in tonight, then it's very important that you call the team and ask any questions you got. So if you're thinking, oh, can they fly me from this airport or from that airport? Call the team. That's the important part here. Let me introduce you to our expert tonight, who I'm very pleased to tell you is a good friend of mine. This is Justin Hazel. How great you to doing? see you, Justin. Very it's good. Great to, to have see you studio back again. again here. Listen, well, I know we've got lots lined up tonight, but we've also got something about Cunard we want to share and something about Azamara. Yeah, we've got cruise news just in. Um, it's supposed to be a pun in the name there. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking on our oh, website. Because that's your name? Yeah, unfortunately. <coughs> Tumbleweed. <coughs> okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, the cruise is just in. If you're looking on our website, okay. if you're looking for deals regarding Thompson, yeah. um, they have actually changed their name now to Morella. So officially, oh, right. the change has happened. I did not know that. Uh, so uh, if anybody's booking cruises uh, with us uh, in the future, we will remind you, of course, when we're on the Planet Cruise uh, show. Uh, but you get the same great standard of service, you get the same great value, uh, just a change in name. Uh, also, Cunard uh, have just released, we're actually going to be going to Alaska. Again, um, it's been so, years. Uh, I, yeah. I was with Cunard, I worked for Cunard. This, is, this has got to be 20 years since they were like, this, last there. This is the first time that the Queen Elizabeth has actually gone to, right. uh, to Alaska. So uh, there's some Which great their, discounts. Their newest ship? One of the one newest, newest ships, ships. Yeah. yeah. So she's a Vista class, so uh, very familiar with the platform. Amazing. Lovely size ship. Um, and uh, there's some great deals on board for that one. Also, uh, we, wanted to be, we really wanted to bring you it tonight, but unfortunately it's not available until tomorrow. Uh, Azamara have got a brand new ship. I thought you had contacts. Uh, right? We've got, co we've got wow. contacts, but is it, doesn't she look fantastic? Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, the Pursuit is, is going to be available tomorrow. 61 new ports, so new destinations. And it includes South America Great stuff. as well. So, uh, yeah, lots going on in the, uh, the cruise industry this week. Now, let's be honest with you. We're, we're going to cover a lot of destinations tonight. And it's fair to say we've got something for everyone. If you're a family, you've got kids, we've got an amazing price cruise lined up for you. If you're looking for a, a cruise that's maybe somewhere you've never been before, far afield, we've got Cuba tonight. We've got the Mediterranean yep. tonight. We've got South America. We're going to the Far East. We've also got a river cruise as well. Oh, and it's right. from the UK's number one river cruise line as well. So uh, I'm sure Tom will tell a little bit more about that later. Tom Morgan is in the house. He's going to be joining us in, well, next, not this yeah. first cruise, but the second cruise. And he's from Riviera Cruises, so he can tell you everything that you need to know. Should we get started? Let's crack we, on. We've got Deal a lot on. to get through. Our first one, one of my all-time favourite cruises, and I say that because I, I was lucky enough to work on cruise ships myself for 18 years. Seven nights around the fjords, but this is going to be with Cruise, cruise and Maritime. And Maritime. Yeah, Cruise and Maritime, and for those of you that are familiar with the brand, they're doing a great thing in the cruise industry. They're taking some of the old vintage ships and they're breathing new life into them. I want to say breathing new life. I mean, we both know the refits yeah. that take place oh, on the Polo, cruise beautiful line. ship. Yeah, but when it's refurbished, this is just stunning. And it, it's got particular heart for me, and, and anybody that's a P&O passenger in the past, this is the old P&O Arcadia. Right. Let's um, take so, a moment to uh, look around it and see what yeah, we can expect. But look, I mean, you, you hardly recognise her now. From, for that, this was my first ever cruise ship that I ever went on um, and again the standard of service they do British cruising and they do it exceptionally well incredible interiors bang up today very modern and the itineraries that we've got today I mean we've got Amsterdam we've got the fjords as well so looking forward to taking you through all of those uh, all the usual facilities that you get on board and the great thing about the size of the ship is you're only looking at 63,000 tons yeah, so you've giant, got 775 uh, passenger cabins itself and uh, another great um, uh, unique feature is that this ship is based in Tilbury so it's a UK sailing so for those of you that don't like flying or if you can't fly um, then uh, something a little bit different sailing from the UK you don't have to worry about all of your baggage as well so yeah, take uh, as much as you want yeah just pack it especially for all the formal nights you know it is again it's a great cruise line it has that formality that has you know a, a nice relaxed feel to it one of the things that's quite good about this particular 
uh, cruise and some of the dates that we've got available tonight is that it's multi-generational. So please, when you do book, um, we have got a fantastic family cruise and children uh, prices from just £99 per person per night. Uh, that's based on the 4th of August next year. Yeah. So uh, just make sure that you, uh, you ask about that because it's, great. it's quite unique that they've actually allowed that to happen. Also, it's free gratuities for all the children under 15. And, and there's a special, if you're single, then they're not going to charge you anymore. It's 759 and that would be for two of you in the camera. But this is the same even if you're on your own. So don't feel like, oh, they're going to ask me for the supplement. They're going to increase the prices, which some of the lines do. Not with this one. So let, let's have a look at the destination, because this is one of my all-time favourites. I love the fjords. I always think of it as being like Alaska for Europe. Yeah. Well, you, you actually leave in Tilbury, so leaving from the UK, and you're actually sailing across, first of all, to Amsterdam. Uh, this is a place that I haven't been for a long time. I'm looking forward to going back, actually, because it is so vibrant. The culture that you've got there, the arts, you've got the Van Gogh Museum, you've got the Rembrandt uh, Museum, you've got the flower markets as well, uh, and all of this for just £72 per person per night, which is exceptional value. So, you know, plenty to see and do. Definitely do one of the, uh, the canal cruises uh, whilst you're in Amsterdam. Uh, you might want to do a little bit of window shopping as well. Well, yeah. um, the coffee Maybe not. shops, are, Maybe well, not. yeah. Um, the coffee shops, yeah. Just uh, enjoy, shall we say? Uh, but uh, really, really great place. So incredibly clean. And one of the one of the things that always I always remember about Amsterdam is they've got multi-story. Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. No, oh. multi-story oh. cycle parks. I kid you not. You know, like in the here in the UK, you see like you know loads of cars. Yeah. It's like they've got like cycle parks, but it's like six or seven it's levels. Different. It's crazy. It's, and but, if you get um, a chance, do the river cruise because they yeah, are yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Said earlier, it's, yeah, it's great. definitely worth doing. Then you've got an relaxing day at sea, and this is where now we're relocating over to Norway. And this is, well, this is a beautiful area. This is really where. Um, the holiday industry in Norway all started. This is where the Victorians all used to go. And this is Eidfjord. And this is one of those ports where you do a half day and then you cruise in the afternoon uh, around Herdangafjord. So you get to see some of the great waterfalls there. If you've never been to Norway, this is just an absolute... I mean, seven nights, yeah, I love great, that. The, you know, not going for too long, is incredible. Um, the temperature's great, the, you, you can't believe how fresh everything is. Yeah, you I know. think sometimes people see the snow on the top of the mountains and I they think presume it's going to be no, cold, but... Not yeah. at all, and cover Especially up. Especially in August, you're going to be fine. Yeah, you, you, you will need to cover up with sunblock because, yeah. you know, it does get quite bright. Uh, then we're on to the highlight. Anybody that wants to travel to Norway, this has probably got to be one of the most important ports, um, uh, which is Flam. Uh, or Flan, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Now, I'd highly recommend here uh, booking your tours through Planet Cruise. Just avoid the disappointment of getting on board and then the tours sold out because yeah, this yeah. is one of the Very most commendable. desirable. And again, it just saves you time. Uh, you know, we both know that sometimes, you know, you can sit down for half an hour or 45 minutes watching the tours program. Uh, you could be out on deck playing shuffleboard or doing something else. Yeah. So, you know, get, get in nice and early. The actual railway is such a great experience. Um, there's 12 miles, it's about 50 minutes that you climb up through, 20 mountain tunnels, um, highly recommend that one. Um, and then Bergen, one of my favourite Norwegian ports. Uh, Bergen itself, every week has got a fantastic fish market, um, very vibrant and culturally you can go into near enough any restaurant or cafe and you'll be remarkably surprised. The Norwegians speak like six or seven different languages. It's, uh, it's, it's just superb. Uh, nice relaxing day at sea and then back into Tilbury and that rounds up a seven day cruise with Cruise Amount. And, and don't forget, let's just remind you that this is a special one because this is the multi-generational, meaning the whole family is invited. It's a perfect cruise. If you want to take the kids or the grandkids, then this is certainly a way. In fact, kids under 15 don't even pay tips. The so yeah. gratuities are all included. And so, when you, you think about the price, £72 per person per night. Let's just go through it. Let's go through what you get for your money so you can really see great value for money. Again, I personally recommend it to you. I was lucky enough to cruise 18 years and it is one of my all-time favourite cruises. So a couple of dates available for you next year. We've got August, we've got October of next year. As you can see, multi-generational, meaning family cruise. Kids can be involved from £99 per person. Depends, we've got different dates available to you, so it depends on one of those, you can go down to £72 per person. Depends on the dates that you choose from. Free gratuities, as we said, for kids with the age of uh, 15 and under. Uh, single special, again, the price does not go up, 759 so you've got a special deal on there. And that when it says itineraries differ, I don't think you're going to totally different ports, just depends on tides and things of that nature, we might switch around the order, but don't expect a big change. Thing. Hang on, I booked the fjords, I'm in Miami. Won't happen, won't happen. So from £499 per person. Now, write down the cruise ID if that appeals to you. Cruise ID on that particular one is 158543.
Let's go through the options available to you. Again, you can see that the change in price is there. If you go in August, 599. If you go in October, 499. So if you hear it saying 72 pounds per person or 99 pounds per person, you can see the differences there. Uh, and you've got inside, outside, you've got the deluxe balcony available for you as well. And there's your single price of just 795. So brilliant value for money. Again, write down that cruise ID, that ID number if you fancy that one. That's 158543. Three. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm looking at the next cruise already. 139434. 139434. Mate, we're moving on to uh, oh, Christmas market sellings available for you as well, if you fancy those. As you can see, from as little as £235 and £199 per person. So some great deals available there. Now... Let's take the opportunity to move on. We're now moving on to Riviera Travel. We did say Tom will turn up. Tom, great. Appreciate you coming in. It's great to be back. Uh, this is such a great phenomenon, river cruising. Tell us a little bit about your particular company. It is. Um, so Riviera Travel, uh, we're now the UK's leading uh, river cruise line, Yeah. Um, which might surprise quite a lot of people out there. And also, one of the great things as well was just a few months ago, uh, we actually won which travel brand of the year? Wow. Um, so fantastic award to win, considering it's independent company. You know, you well, can't... You're can't the only one to actually We are the only one. river cruise yeah. line to have won a which recommendation. And, and to win travel brand of the year is, is the big one. So that puts us above all the other travel brands. So, yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic time. And, and you've, got, you've got a brand new ship, is that right? A five star? We've actually suites. got uh, four brand new ships this year. Four? Four brand new ships this year. Um, and three of them. So business are, is good. Business, yeah, <laughs> it's fair to say business is going well. Um, and yeah, so three of those new ships are sailing the Christmas markets cruise oh, brilliant. as well. So, yeah, going really, really well. Well, let's take a moment to look at a video clip. Whilst this is playing, maybe you can talk us through what we just Yeah, say. so, I mean, the ships we have are absolutely stunning. Um, you know, the brand new ships. Um, the ships you can see here. This is the Thomas Hardy. Uh, this is one of the ships that will be sailing on the Christmas market. Yeah. So the cabins are a little bit bigger, a little awesome. bit more spacious. It's absolutely stunning. That's I mean, awesome. in my opinion, they're as good as anything else you'll find on the rivers out there. Um, you know, river cruising is a very relaxing way to go about it. And this is where you're really going to spend a lot of your time sort of when you're cruising along, certainly for Christmas markets, in the lounge and that sort of thing. Um, Sun Deck, again, is a great place just to sit, watch the world go by yeah. uh, and really, really enjoy it. I think it's nice to bear in mind as well, you are on a river, you're not going into the open seas. Let, look at the size of the ship. I you mean, it's, when, when I was looking at some of those photographs, if you told me I was on a, an ocean going cruise mm. ship, I would have believed you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think one, one of the it's nice amazing. things that, that I like particularly about Riviera is, is the fact that for the size of the ship, you could actually fit more cabins on, but you haven't. Right. And the great thing, you know, you, you, you would be able to fit probably 190, um, uh, 190 passengers, that is, not cabins. And that's the great thing. If you've been ocean cruising, we're talking about 169 passengers, wow. 44 yeah, crew members amazing. as well. So your, your crew member to, to passenger ratio. ratio is fantastic. And yeah. again, you are docking in these incredible places. The Rhine, in fact, is actually the first cruise experience that I had, but just a little bit different because yeah. this ship is just something else. It's yeah. really yeah. beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Like you say, you never feel crowded on board. You know, it's only around 150 passengers on board when you're actually sailing. So you're not queuing to get off. It's it's not like getting a tender to go on shore. You just walk down the gangplank and bang you straight into the heart of town, yeah. which and is I, absolutely I fantastic. I think it's important to remember it's five stars, so that gives it us is. a good indication of what we can expect. It I is. know, but for, do you know what, for me, because, because I do the Christmas markets every year, it's a little yeah. bit of a family mm. tradition. I know even going back uh, the Hamburg Christmas market, this yeah. is a while ago now, um, so this, <laughs> it's, it's just perfect that you're getting that, um, that beginning of December, so, you know, you can get in the Christmas mood. You can also get some proper, authentic Christmas gifts. You know, nothing with batteries that, you know, is going to break in five minutes. The good old fashion traditional toys mm. and then you can bring them back and that's something a little bit different for your family. Well we've got five sailings available for you. Let's see exactly where we're going. Do you want to talk us through these ports? Yeah. First, first of all you're actually taking the Eurostar across to, uh, to Cologne. Now this is the great thing that you don't have to worry about flying. If you want to fly there is an option. There are supplements that are available so just ask the guys uh, when you book it. But first of all you're into Cologne and then transferring uh, on board the ship and you'll stay on board that night and sail through the oh, night. So brilliant. early morning brilliant. you wake up and you're in Rudersheim. Yep. Now this is the great thing that you get a, a, a fantastic morning in Rudersheim to have a wander around again, have a look at some of the Christmas markets and then you're going to be setting sail and after lunch you get back on board 
and you're going to be sailing through the Rhine in this beautiful valley with some glue vines, some exactly. stalling cake. Yeah, they're sailing, going to, so yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be doing glue vines, just sailing along, so you can wrap up on the sun deck, really enjoy the scenery, because you're just sailing down the Rhine Gorge, it's just castle after castle, it's absolutely wow, stunning. It it's really beautiful as you're going down. We'll do a stalling cake demonstration on board, so you can yeah. see how it's made, yeah. and obviously we're going to let you guys have a, a sample of it and wow. have a little go of it before <laughs> you can buy some, some in town. So do I, I'm getting hungry now. Um, so it's absolutely stunning where we're going. Um, so what you do, Rudersheim, absolutely beautiful town. Then it's uh, into Frankfurt. Old. Yeah, then we go over to Frankfurt. So you sail into Frankfurt. Um, we give you a walking and coach wow, tour in Frankfurt. That. And that's, that's included? Um, that is included in the price. The great thing is, you know, you do the coach tour so you can see sort of the contrast of the city because it's a city of two halves really. You've got the, the business district which is more modern and mm -hmm. a bit more sort of what you may have seen. And then you've got this older town which is absolutely stunning and some of the oldest Christmas markets I out there. What you say, you're telling us earlier something about the town hall. That's in Koblenz. Oh, yeah, that yeah, oh, that's I'm jumping ahead. Uh, pay att pay jumping attention, there, yeah. Justin. <laughs> but but yeah, I'm yeah. just getting excited. How can you not get excited? When you see these Christmas <laughs> markets and you smell the curry verse exactly. and the wonderful potato rosties that they do, the glue vine, the, the warm the yeah. spice cider yeah. as well, it is just something else and you know, get wrapped up and you really do feel Christmassy. Come on, let's go to Koblenz. Let's talk about that yeah, town hall. So so, so when you sail through the night, you, know, you get a captain's gala dinner whilst you're on board, which is fantastic. Koblenz is another absolutely fantastic little place we visit. Um, yeah, as we were saying, one of the great things they do in Koblenz is the town hall's actually got 24 windows on it, so they use it as the town's advent calendar. Oh my god. So goodness. every single know day they open That's up brilliant. a different window. <laughs> so there's a fantastic photo for your Facebook, isn't it, Phil? Yeah, yeah. So you can go along and go there, <laughs> visit some, again, some fantastic Christmas markets, you know, buy, buy family, friends those gifts, and especially if you're going by Eurostar, you know, you don't have to mm. worry about weight luggage and bring oh, it back. Just, just what you can see here, Koblenz, you can't quite see it, but with that, uh, that sort of triangle, uh, just just out oh, into yeah, the yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just back from that is a monument that's definitely worth going to see. This is wonderful Pegasus horse, oh, yeah. a winged horse. It's actually only been erected in the 90s, but it looks as like if it's been there hundreds of years. But you'll love that. Mm. And there's some great beer kellers just on the banks as you go down in. So uh, you get that real German feel. And then there's got an overnight in Cologne. Yeah, an overnight yeah. in Cologne. You know, I think everybody knows a port. Let, let, let's make this clear. If you think, oh, I don't know what I'd do that. You, you use the ship as a hotel. You get on and off as much as you want. It's right there for you to get on and off and on and off. And so the ship is your hotel. You don't have to move luggage or anything. It's brilliant. We've actually got some, um, uh, some ornaments in our lounge right now that were bought in that square in Cologne. Mm. Uh, you've got the fantastic cathedral there as well, which literally, you know, you're in, in the shadow of the cathedral. That's where the, the Christmas markets are. And then, you know, the Germans have been doing this for years and they do it so well. What we see here in the UK over the last few years, it's nice, but you, if you haven't been before, um, you, you really can't grasp how good it really is. Well, I'm being told some of the dates are already selling out, so, and I don't just mean tonight, I mean you know, they have been selling, so they, uh, there are some sellouts, we'll go through those with you in just a moment, but if you want this, you need to be as quick as you can. Bear in mind, this is December, so we're talking just a few weeks away, just a few weeks away, so call the team, they are waiting for your team, uh, for your phone call right now. Let's go through some of the inclusions for you, so you can see what you're getting for your money. Again, we've got lots of dates, five dates available in December, 4th, 8th, 9th, 12th and the 16th, they're your starting dates. Brand new five star, all sweet ships, so everyone's a winner on here, everyone's got a beautiful cabin. You can go and return with Eurostar out of London. Uh, if you want to fly, then again, talk to the team. The number's at the bottom of the screen, they're waiting for your call right now, 0808 250 2662. And uh, there's all sorts of uh, airports available for you around the UK, so don't just think you've got to get to London, that isn't necessarily the deal. And let's go through the prices because then you'll see, there you go, some of the sellouts I was telling you about. So you've already got some sellouts, so if you are thinking, oh my, it's just a few weeks away now, call the team now. Call the team now. And you've got any questions, because you know, we have to rush through these cruises, but if you're thinking, oh my goodness, that would be great, call them, have a chat with them, and find out everything you need to know. It's just a brilliant opportunity, and of course the UK's number one when it comes to river cruising right now. Hey, Tom, let me say a big thank you to you. Really appreciate no, you coming Thank you very in. much for having me. Stay with us for a few more minutes. I will. Uh, we're going to move on to our, our next cruise. It's uh, the Royal Caribbean, one of the nation's favourites, there's no doubt about it. I think, this is, I think it's fair to call this a bucket list cruise for many people. Well, she's a phenomenal ship, you know, for, from a small ship to one of the largest ocean-going liners. This is actually the, the, uh, the third in this particular class featuring what they call the North Star. So you've actually oh, got that thing like that a goes pod out. that yeah, goes yeah, out. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll take a look at this. But the actual 
cruise itself, you have a wonderful break in Bali, you have a couple of nights in Hong Kong at a five-star hotel, and then you get on board your cruise ship. So this is just a, an amazing break. You see what I'm saying? This is a bucket list. This is a bucket list trip. So we're going to Bali for five nights. Let's yep. take a look at it before we do anything else. Do you know, the, the, the thing with having a break before a cruise is you get to unwind. Oh, what a wonderful place. Very good friend, friend of mine has actually just come back from Bali. Oh, yeah. Um, I was actually in Thailand at the same time. It's the first time over there. So similar sort of climate. And just you can see, again, wonderful, wonderful culture. So there's plenty to go and see and do. If you want to do some of the historical stuff, you want to do some of the cultural stuff. But the beaches are just some of the best beaches that you'll ever see. Some of the local handicrafts as well, I mean, you know, people that bring items back, you'll want to put them on display. And again, it's just one of those immersive cultures that you can't come back and not feeling rich from. Yeah, I That's agree. the great thing. Yeah. And you've got five nights here. So, you know, if you want to have one day, and again, you, all, all of those five days, it's what you want to do. If you want to go out on a tour, then you can go out on a tour. Um, if you want to perhaps just lay at the beach, enjoy some of the, uh, the hospitality, then you can do. And that's a four-star resort that you're actually going to be staying at um, before then you head on to Hong Kong. So that looked amazing, it's, didn't Yeah, the, the, the underwater. And again, you know, it's... Everybody thinks of Bali, sort of like the little beach bars, the shacks and stuff like that. But this, the actual particular area that you're going to be staying at in the hotel is exquisite. It yeah. is just the best if, service. If this is on your bucket list, if you've ever wanted to get out to the Far East, then this is certainly one to consider. You know, you're not that far away from places like Singapore. And of course, we're going to go to Hong Kong. You're going to get two nights there in a five-star ho hotel next. So there's your first five nights in Bali. Yeah, what a great way to start. This is really like two trips in one, oh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've got a holiday and then two nights in Hong Kong. And then a nine-night cruise. All I'm going to say is do not, please, do not get into Hong Kong and go, oh, I'm just going to have a night in the hotel. Go out. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. I only got a few hours in there. We were docking and, and then straight back out. Hong Kong is Awesome. Let, let's show you it. Let's show you exactly where you're going to Oh, you can see that some idea exactly where you are in the world right now. But let's take a moment to have a look at this awesome, awesome place. Yeah, and, and the harbour itself it is it's really the, the hub, not just of maritime activity, but every night around 8 o'clock, uh, they have an amazing light show. So all of the skyscrapers you see around there, you know, it's, it's almost like New Year's Eve every night. So uh, definitely don't miss that. Some of the bazaars, the, you've got narrow streets and markets. There's uh, some local markets. If you feel perhaps uh, a little bit uh, brave and bold, you can try some of the local cuisine. And when I say lo local cuisine, there's some crazy stuff over there. But just try it. <laughs> That's the great thing. It's just, it just try it. Uh, you could go on a traditional junker boat cruise yeah. around the harbour as well. Uh, definitely one to do in the daytime, or well, maybe at night, is Victoria Peak. You can get the vernicular railway up to the top, and you've got some stunning views over there. So we'll, we'll take the cable car, uh, whichever way. Uh, but again, that's a five-star hotel that you're staying in Hong Kong. So, uh, you know, superb that you've just had a wonderful beach break in Bali in a four-star hotel. You have two great nights in Hong Kong, and then this is just building you up for one of the greatest destinations that you're going to visit. That is the wonderful Ovation of the Seas. This right. is a destination itself. I, I haven't seen this yet. I've seen some photographs, but I haven't actually had a good look around the ship. Let's take a moment to see it right now. We've got Ke uh, Glenn. Glenn is on board. Glenn is on board the ship. Ovation of the Seas is a third ship in the Royal Caribbean's Quantum class. And as you would expect, it goes above and beyond the boundaries of what a cruise ship can be with the groundbreaking technology of the dancing robo screens to the skydiving simulator. One thing's for sure, you're gonna to wanna to explore the ship just as much as the destinations. Whatever you want to do throughout the day, there's always something to suit. Step into the intimate jewel-shaped capsule North Star, which gently ascends 300 feet above sea level and gives you breathtaking views. Or explore Seaplex, the place to do roller skating, learn new tricks in the circus school, and have a go on the first ever sea bumper cars. I think this is the most exciting cruise ship venue I've ever experienced. You've got two and a half decks worth of glass just wrapping around 270 degrees of the aft of the ship, making it a perfect place to enjoy a coffee, have a little bite to eat, maybe even have a cheeky sail away cocktail. Then at night, these huge windows become one giant TV. A stunning video is projected onto the glass. Acrobats descend from the heavens and huge robotic arms dance with live performers. 
There are many watering holes on board our Vation of the Seas. You can sip champagne in the North Star Bar with breathtaking views, experience an infused night with Latin passion boleros, or head to the future and get your drinks served to you by a robot in the Bionic Bar. But I love it here, where you can treat yourself to a timeless cocktail in the warm atmosphere and the nautical charm of the school bar. When it comes to dining options, you will not be disappointed. Chop Grill has added some contemporary flair to the traditional steakhouse offerings. If it's sushi that takes your fancy, then head to Azumi. Or try something completely different and delve into the twisted dream world of Wonderland. I absolutely love these new family connected staterooms. What it means is if you're traveling with a group of friends or family, you can have up to three separate bedrooms, all with their own private bathroom, and yet they're all connected, so you can pop in on each other. Come on, you know you want to go. This is the perfect way to see the Far East. It's what, brilliant. What a great ship, though. Yeah. There's, there's so much. And you've got the, the first actual two days are at sea, so you can get to do all those great activities. And, and that, then... that is. Um, let's face it, a ship that size, that is your destination. You yeah. want to get out and about, and you want to enjoy the ship, so it's great. You've got a few days at sea on this trip. Yeah. So then we, then we go over to Japan? Yeah, we're going to, and do you know what? This is, this is one place that I never actually visited while I was on the cruise line. I've only just visited recently I've never in been. the last never few, been. few weeks. What a wonderful culture and it's, it's one of the places you, you know when you've traveled a lot and you go yeah I, I'm not bothered about holidays I'm not bothered about going <laughs> away it's one place I want to go back to Japan Why you really badly much, yeah? really oh yeah Konnichiwa oh Warabashi as well, well, well. Kanbai. You, you really oh, yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so tell us about Japanese this, this first port of call. So, on, where yeah, where Fukuoka. Do we go to? Fukuoka is the first port of call, and this is where you can go and immerse yourself in some of the local um, uh, arts and crafts because there's the karatsu uh, and kiyozan kiln. And this is uh, producing a particular type of, of pottery, yeah. which has got like a really dark brown glaze. So if you want to bring some of that back, and if you have some of the, uh, the tea making ceremonies over there, then it's probably what they use. Um, you've also got the Kushida Shrine. So if you want to go and see some of the, 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 the sort of more cultural, then it's the oldest shrine founded back in 757. Um, so uh, an incredible place to go. And then there's the uh, Fukuoka Tower as well, which is, um, it's, it's, I suppose, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, it's, it's like the Blackpool Tower, but for this region. Yeah, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like Does you've got to go. like the Blackpool Tower? <laughs> it's a tower by the seaside. It's like their seaside version, which is yeah, a lot I, I better get your than point. ours. I get your point. But there we go. So, uh, yeah, you definitely want to go and see that. Then we're off to Nagasaki. Now, of course, Nagasaki, on a serious note, has got an incredible history. Yeah. Um, and if you do want to go and see that, then there is the peace statue, which is erected in the memory uh, as a symbol of world peace, not yeah. just for this region, yeah. uh, but for world peace as well. So, uh, you know, fantastic to go and see that. There you go. There's the, uh, the peace statue itself. Uh, also, uh, you can go, there's, a, there's so much porcelain production out of here. You can go to the Arita Museum as well, which is the, uh, the birthplace of porcelain, uh, which dates back 400 years. Um, so, you, again, you can go around one of the kilns there. You can see some of the, uh, the produce there. And this is also, by the way, if you do like your, your culture, this is the city that uh, Puccini's opera, Madame Butterfly, was actually based on. Wow. So, uh, I don't know whether you'll get to, to experience any of that, but, uh, you know, always great if you love a bit of opera. Looks amazing, um, doesn't it? At yeah. nighttime with all the lights, it looks amazing. Do you know what the crazy thing is, though? Japan is so densely populated in some areas, and then it's completely like barren in, in others so like when you go out into the country it's like dark but right. you know I mean I was in Tokyo and then went down to Suzuka and it really you know it's it's, it's amazing anyway um, now we're off to uh, Kuma, Kuma Oto sorry uh, and you've got uh, two things to do here you've got Kuma Oto Castle uh, and you've got the Yatsushiro Shrine as well. So uh, there's also some fantastic shopping here, I've been told, as well. So uh, there's a, a Honmachi, which is a, a covered arcade that runs several blocks. So if you do like your shopping, then, uh, yeah, several city blocks. I think that should be enough shopping for one day. Uh, then we're off to uh, Shimo, Shimo, Shimonoseki. Yeah. That's a... Think of that. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to argue with you. It's doing brilliantly. Shimonoseki. Sorry, somebody said it to me before, and it just threw me off there. Uh, this, you've got to go to the fish market. So there's the Karato Ichiba um, uh, fish market. And there is, uh, you know, sometimes when you go, I've tried a few you know, bits and pieces. I've tried some seafood. I've tried some fish. There's stuff here that you'd have never even heard of. Wow. Um, so amazing fish market here. Uh, and there's, all, there's also one of the best Japanese gardens as well. There's the Chofu Tea Garden, um, which is definitely one to go. So if you can imagine the little pagodas, the wonderful bonsai trees, that's the best place to go for that. And then a um, couple of days at sea to enjoy of the ship right, again. Couple of days at sea, and then you're coming back into Hong Kong and flying back to the UK. But, you know, to have a break at the beginning, 
two nights in a five-star hotel in Hong Kong, and then those ports in Japan. Just a brilliant package. Yeah, come on, it is a bucket list cruise. That's what I call this for you, bucket list cruise. And at a price like this, we're talking, what, £100 per person per night. A hundred. Think what you get in the UK if you went to a hotel. This, this is including all your food. You've got your entertainment included. It's brilliant value for money. Five nights stay in Bali, two nights then in Hong Kong, five-star hotel. Then you've got the free all-inclusive drink package as well during your cruise. And then you've got your return flights. It's just phenomenal value for money. Now, you don't pay all of that money today. It's just a deposit only. Can we show the drinks off so people understand what they get for their money? So you really understand. Here you go. This is the free, the free Royal Caribbean drinks package, the deluxe drinks package, and that's drinks up to $12 a pop. You've got your beers, your wines by the glass, uh, up to $8 in value, and you've got your non-alcoholic cocktails, fountain sodas with souvenir cups, uh, which is great because everyone wants to collect those souvenir cups. You bring them. I've still got loads from the ships <laughs> I worked on. And, and it's great when you have a you know, party in the summer or anything of that nature. You get the glasses talking out, point, talking point, and then 20% off of bottles of wine as well. And then finally, we uh, take the opportunity to move on to last minute deals. Yeah. Now, these are going to be quick. So if you like the idea of these ones, we are going to whisk through them. I'm going to give you that as a heads up right now because I don't need to miss out on them. Now, the first one is November this year. This is yep. a last minute deal. Yep. If you want to get your hands on this, you want to be as quick as you can. In fact, I would say call the team. Any quick, think I might go, call the team. So seven nights around the med with Costa Cruises. With Costa Cruises, which you know, you're, you're definitely Six familiar with. Yeah. Costa. And, and I can't emphasize enough, these last minute deals, uh, I mean, you can see the price that's at the bottom of the screen there. When you break that down to £69 per person and per night. night, and you get in to do the Mediterranean on an incredible uh, cruise ship. And if, um, you, if you're a family of four, tell us the price for that. £1,599. That's 400 quid each. For the week, that is phenomenal value for money. Let's take a moment to see the ship itself, so you've got some idea just how great Costa are. Yeah, I mean, I mean, with the actual ship itself, you've got fantastic facilities. You've got a central pool area, which has got one of the retractable roofs on there, so it doesn't matter what the weather is, you're going to get a, a fantastic feel. You've also got uh, the giant movie screen outdoors as well. There's also Grand Prix simulators on board, so if yep. you want to drive in simulator, there's golf simulators as well. Uh, so there's plenty for everybody to do uh, for the family. Uh, there's some great lounges as well. There's the 4D cinema, so you've heard of 3D, but 4D yeah. actually bringing it, so uh, it's around <laughs> in the senses like you know they spray water on you they'll move you around it's it's crazy it's brilliant great um, but you've also got all the traditional venues that you want on every cruise ship and you've got some great bars on board great restaurants you've also Gorgeous. got a lot of culture on board there's 300 original paintings on board the Pacifica yeah um, so uh, they've got a great art collection and that's their collection it's not the stuff that you usually associate with the art auctions that's the stuff that's actually on board. So uh, a fantastic ship, but it's where we're going. First of all, you're flying from London to uh, Savona and then joining um, the ship, and your first port of call is Marseille. Of course, this is the gateway to Provence. Um, you've got a fantastic harbour here, um, which uh, apparently the Count of Monte Cristo escaped from. So you've got the oh, harbour yeah. side there. Yeah. Um, you've also got the fantastic lavender fields, which inspired some of the artists of Van Gogh, Cezanne, Matisse, uh, and the like. Then we're off to Barcelona, one of my favourite ports in the world. It's absolutely fantastic. You've got places like La Rambla, Sagrada Familia, you've got the uh, uh, New Camp Stadium. There's plenty to see and do in Barcelona. Then you've got uh, Valencia. Um, the old quarter uh, dates back to the Middle Ages, so uh, you've got plenty of history there. You've also got, if you want to do something outdoors, you've got the Albufeira National Park. You've got the Ladro Museum as well, so if you like your porcelain, then you can do that. You've got one relaxing day at sea, which is day five, before your final, um, or penultimate day, sorry, uh, which is in Sardinia. Um, some fantastic beaches there, great cathedrals, and there's a great castle. And then you finish up in Rome. Now, Rome, what a place. I mean, you, you can do it in a day. You can do uh, all of uh, uh, the Vatican City. You can do the Colosseum, the full works. Uh, don't forget, a family of four, £1,599. It's a little as £69 per person per night. It's brilliant value for money. They, they can see it in writing. And don't forget, this is just a few weeks away. Uh, I'm being told it's limited now, really, really limited. So if you do want to go, call them right away. Don't think, oh, I might. Let's think about that for a couple of days. Just call and have a chat with the team right now. It's free to call. They're waiting for your call. So £1,599 for a family of four. You can upgrade if you want to. £22 per person per night. And that will include your return flights from London. So it's fantastic value for money. Now let's move on to our next last minute deal. Again this is 
But in November, which is just a few weeks away, we're yep. around the corner. It is this year. These are last minute deals. This too is selling out very, very quickly. And so it really is a this last one is, minute is deal. It's absolutely flying out. So, you know, if you do want it, phone tonight. Uh, and this is with, again, cruise line that I'm familiar with, a ship that I'm familiar with. I launched the Oceana back, uh, back in the day, as they say. And um, with, uh, with the ship, you've got great facilities, but you've also got some great well, ports. Let's, as well. let's get Keith to show you around the ship right now. At just 77,000 tonnes, P&O Cruises Oceana may not be the biggest in the fleet, but she certainly packs a mighty punch. Fresh from her recent refitting, she was extensively and expensively refurbished and looks absolutely beautiful. Oh. You know, as a proud Englishman, the centre of my universe has always been my local pub. And on P&O, you really won't go wrong by visiting this beautiful yacht and compass nautically themed pub, which serves up a healthy selection of Britain's best. On top of that, you can really live the high life on this ship with the bubbles of the Magnum Champagne Bar or dancing into the wee hours in the chic Le Club. Whether you choose the more traditional fixed dining of the Adriatic or the freedom dining of the Ligarian, both restaurants serve up consistently delicious food from an ever-smiling army of knowledgeable waiters. For those who prefer their dining al fresco, then why not try a super tender steak at the Horizon Grill on Deck 14? You're guaranteed great taste and even better views. Or pop along and let Marco Pierre White dazzle your taste buds at Café Jardin. Friendly and interactive, as well as diverse, Oceana offers many entertainment options, from the high-rolling fun of the Monte Carlo Club to the cabaret and comedy of Starlights. You can pop along to the atrium for a classical recital, or head here for a pint and watch your favourite team in the winner's sports bar. And then, after a great meal, go to the Footlights Theatre, where you'll be hard-pressed to believe that you're not actually sitting in the West End. Stylish and inviting, Oceana's cabins come in all shapes and sizes, from spacious and fully equipped suites like this, offering a host of extra special touches to mini suites, balcony cabins, and standard inside or outside cabins. But all come with a host of mod cons and a daily steward service, plus the all important tea and coffee making facilities. Because if you're like me, you can't even face the rest of the world without at least one cup of coffee. How great is that? Come on, some great ports in there as well. This is from the 20th of November this year. It's very, very last minute. So if you think, oh my God, oh my God, come on, get away and enjoy yourself. It's very limited though. £74 per person per night. You can upgrade to a balcony if you want for just £43 per person per night. In fact, let's show you all the inclusions. You can really get clarity off this. So free onboard spend or parking. And that excludes the outside cabins. Upgrade to the balconies, I say, from £44 per person per night. And if you wanted to, you can even add one night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester, just up the road, from £95 per person. And that includes your breakfast, your parking, and your port transfer. So it's really a good option to consider. ID number there is 117660. But let's continue, because we've still got a couple more cruises to squeeze in yet. This next one's amazing. This is a new line, relatively, about five years old, this line, isn't it? Yeah, this is brand new. We've never brought this to you on the TV show before. Um, so this is a great option and this is a, a brand that predominantly they spend the, uh, the summer months in Greece That's right. and then they head over to the Caribbean well, to, not just the Caribbean well, yeah, and Cuba yeah this is, this is what I, I must admit I, never I got a chance to go, to go here <laughs> I want to say Cuba. I what a great place, though. Yeah, You've never amazing. been. Amazing, either. amazing. It's just, you know, you think of the old cars, you think of the Latino music, you think of the rum, mojitos. It's just, I, I think this is great. But the actual cruise line itself, again, um, you know, smaller ships, we're talking 25,000 tonnes. Great. Uh, just 406 crew and 476 cabin. But look at the vibrance that you've yeah. got. You've got all the song, you've got the dance, you've got that whole thing. And bear in mind, well, we're into our first day of Havana anyway, uh, you've got the Buena Vista Social Club, which is where you get what that wonderful, vibrant music from. How you can't go there and have a couple of mojitos. And it is an overnight cigar. in Havana, that first yeah. night. Is that, so the ship is your hotel, but you can go out and enjoy the nightlife and come back whenever you want. Exactly. And of course, don't forget, you, when you're cruising with a cruise line like uh, Celestial, 
you are getting great advice as well. So they'll advise you on the places to go uh, and what to, and, to and do. Is, and is this one? To. Is this one? Did I see Jane McDonald was on here as well? Yeah, and, and to be fair, actually, it's a really good point. Um, just after that show. Uh, the Celestial website crashed. They had that much interest. Really? So uh, I'm pleased to say that the Planet Cruise uh, uh, website was didn't fine. crash. It's fine. <laughs> so uh, we've got people on the telephone so ready to take may you through Maybe you saw it. that so, at uh, home. Maybe you were lucky enough to watch that show and you thought, I did see that. I told Jane McDonald that that's the cruise we're talking about here, but these are exclusive discounts yep. for Planet Cruise. So we've just seen Havana, so then we have a day at sea. Yeah, relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Sinfuegos. Now, this is known as the Pearl of the South. Uh, and this has got a fantastic, um, because it's it's very Spanish wow. in its design, yeah. you've got a pedestrianised street which is full of local shops, you've got the Plaza de Amos as well with the main square, and you've got some fantastic architecture that's all still intact, so a great location. Uh, then we're off to the Caribbean, and we're going off to one of the jewels of the Caribbean, we're off to Jamaica. Oh, um, it's just amazing, you go to Montego oh, I love, Bay. I love it, I love so, Jamaica. So uh, straight away you'll have the wonderful steel drums, you'll have yeah. the reggae music, yeah. if you're a big Bob Marley fan, and you can go on one of the Bob Marley tours. Yeah. Uh, go and see Dun River Falls Look as well. Done You'll that. just absolutely Way too many love times. it. Then you're back to Cuba, you're going to Santiago de Cuba now, and this is the country's second biggest city after Havana. And this is this is a little bit more uh, of a colonial style. You've got big boulevards there, squares, architecture. Um, more reminiscent because of the topography of the lands. That was a big word, wasn't it? Topography. Yeah. Um, of Rio de Janeiro um, <laughs> in Brazil. So, uh, But this is also where the revolution began, so there's lots of history there. So if you do want to go back, um, uh, and there's still you know a lot of vibrance uh, about the, uh, the city itself. Then you've got a relaxing day at sea, and then you're flying back from Havana back to the UK. But for me, I've got to say, you know, brand new product. So for those of you that are not familiar with Celestial, great, great offerings. Smaller ships, yeah. uh, some fantastic local cocktails as well that they and, serve and it's on board. Saying, yeah, this is considered to be an all-inclusive cruise. You can see it on the screen right now, all-inclusive cruise, and even your tips are included. So you don't expect any extras. This is brilliant value for money. And it works out, you know, bear in mind this is all inclusive, under £133 per person per night, it's a great value mm. of money. So all inclusive, including the tips as we just said, exclusive discounts on every sailing. Planet Cruise really got this one wrapped up for you. Overnight on board in Havana, and the ship is your hotel, so you go to and fro as often as you want. You could just go out for a few drinks and come back, you can go out for dinner, you can do all the things you want. Return flights from London Gatwick and all your overseas transfers included with, as um, well. We've also got on selected dates, we've also got deposit only, but bear in mind that the lead date is just the 4th of December this year. So yeah. if you want to get away and from And we've some, even got dates in November. Yeah, and some Christmas sun, then, uh, then you yeah. can get away. Let, let's just show you the uh, drinks package, you can see what's included. Selected spirits, beers and cocktails. Uh, you've got Ouzo cocktails as well, one of my favourite drinks. Uh, Non-alcoholic <laughs> cocktail sodas, iced teas, juices, sparkling and mineral water, wide range of hot beverages as well, espressos, cappuccinos, teas, hot chocolates, etc, etc, etc. It is phenomenal value for money. Let's go on to the next one. You can see the prices here. We've got November, December, January and February. So if you are thinking, oh, I could do with a little break, Call the team right now. You could be going next month. Come on, it's around the corner. Mm. You could be going in December or even say, no, no, let's get Christmas out of the way. We want to go in January, February. You can do that too. It's just a phone call away. So that's Celestial Cruises. That's the Celestial Crystal. Please don't miss out on it. We've still got another cruise to squeeze in though. So we're going now to Princess Cruises and this is the Royal Princess. I always have a little soft spot in my heart for this line because this is the cruise line that I proposed to Helen on. So, and she said, and she said yes. She still regrets it. Still regrets <laughs> it. But, but uh, she really, it's a really true story. I didn't propose in front of all of the passengers. Now, one of my favourite cities in the world. We're going to fly out to Miami. Yeah. Let's talk. You get to overnight in Miami. Yeah, I, I mean, Miami is just so vibrant. I mean, straight away, you've got the beach down at the front. So bear in mind, you know, you have got that chance to be overnight there. And, you know, go to Ocean Drive, go to Venice Beach. Yeah. You know, you just see the old Art Deco buildings, the wonderful neon signs as well. Miami is fantastic. I love it. I There's love it. There's some great surf and turf restaurants there. Really, really good. I, we, had, we had a couple of times when we joined the ship we would actually have time in Miami the night before and I always used to look forward to it. You know, you touch down and you just get straight out because it's brilliant. I'm looking at all these pictures hoping to see the World Trade Center because that's where I used to work. Oh, okay. So I keep looking at the, oh, this is the it, one, this is where I love just Miami walking Beach. down Miami Beach. Yeah. Just it is it's like walking on a film set but you're there. Yeah. Uh, Ocean Drive as well. You've heard it in song many a time. It's just the place to be. Yeah, it's it's awesome. 
And of course, the weather could be great, so you could be out there really enjoying some winter sunshine, take advantage of it. Then a relaxing day at sea, but let's take a moment right now to have a look at the ship. We're going to see the ship, and this is Jade. Regardless of which Princess Cruises ship you get on, you'll find yourself with a host of dining, entertainment and relaxation options to suit your needs. Whether you prefer the traditions of set time dining or you prefer to pick when, where and who you eat with, the option is yours on board a Princess ship. Princess Cruises have always taken speciality dining to the next level, from the sumptuous steaks in the Crown Grill through to the incredible Italian flavours of Sabatini's. The first of two new offerings is Steamer's Seafood, where you can feast on amazing shellfish, all accompanied by generous sides and dipping sauces. The second new taste sensation is Planks, serving up American-style barbecue options on planks, loaded with four meats, chilli, coleslaw and fries, Oh, and some really incredible looking desserts. Princess Cruises love looking after the whole family during your cruise. Camp Discovery offers three different age categories and areas, all themed in collaboration with the Discovery Channel. Children aged 3 to 17 will have everything they need to keep them amused for hours at a time. Whichever Princess Cruises ship you go on, you are sure to find something entertaining happening. From the street performers in the piazza through to the full Broadway star productions in the Princess Theatre. But this is Princess, so we can't talk about entertainment without mentioning the movies under the stars up here on deck. Whichever stateroom you pick, you'll get comfortable beds, a flat screen TV, mini bar and bathroom with shower. If you're looking for a bit of extra outside space, then an upgrade to a balcony is a must. For that touch of luxury though, suites are the perfect option, offering you extra space and amenities in your room and complimentary access to the Lotus Spa Thermal Suite, amongst other exclusive benefits. So we've had a night in Miami, you've just seen yep. the ship, but our first port of call, well, it's a very, very special place, isn't it, Princess Kay's in ba the yeah. Bahamas? Very special place. Yeah, I mean, especially for Princess, you know, I, I always remember it used to be at the end of the itinerary for a lot of the cruises. It's the first time, and this is where you do all your water sports and your activities. It's literally a day on the beach. The ship take all of the, the food and drink ashore. They do the barbecue, they do the bars. It's just... It's fantastic. It is just literally a little it, bit of paradise. Is it fair to say, this is, think of it at home, if you're looking at it, well, what's special about Princess Case? Think of it as being a private island yeah. for Princess Cruises. Just, uh, That's yeah, the best way to explain own, it. Owned by Princess for Princess and, and P&O passengers. That's it. Uh, and you're the only ship that's going to be in on that day. So, uh, you know, everything that you see there, <laughs> yeah. Bring, brings back some memories, should we, yeah, should we say, really fond memories. Uh, then you've got a nice relaxing day at sea to enjoy the ship, uh, and then you're into St. Thomas. Now, the great thing, we, you know, with St. Thomas, very American island, so if you yeah, do want to do... Great shopping. Yeah, great yeah, if you do want to do fashion shopping, if you want to do... Megan's some, Bay, there we go, looking at Megan's Bay, one, one of the top one ten of the beaches best, in the yeah, world. One of the best, yeah. It really um, is. And if you do, want to do some of your duty-free shopping as well, some great restaurants, very American, um, so you've got great facilities there. Uh, then we're off to Antigua. Now, Antigua, 365 beaches for 365 days of the year. You cannot go wrong with a beach in Antigua. Then you're off to St. Lucia. Uh, I've got a very good friend of mine that's just come back on a recommendation of mine, St. Lucia. You've got the two pitons. Yeah. We've got to go to try the local beer, which is named after the pitons as well. Uh, go there to they Marigo are. There Bay. You, go. you can well. only see one of them. The other one's behind it. You can only <laughs> see the one there. Um, Pitching Point's good if you want to go to the west coast a little bit further up. Uh, and again, Castres is your main town um, that you generally dock in also free as yeah. well. Some lovely beaches. Marigo Bay, worth visiting. Yeah, yeah the scene of. Uh, uh, there you go. There uh, you that's go, where yeah. uh, Dr. Doolittle was filmed. So there's, yeah. there's a good cocktail restaurant there. Anyway. Um, I digress. It's called the Giant Pink Sea Snail. <laughs> you try saying that after a couple. The Giant Pink Snee Snail. Snee, 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 snee Snail. After the and one. That, that's in with the film. water. That's yeah. with the water. <laughs> I'm empty. I'm empty. And then we anyway. continue our journey. Barbados. Oh, Barbados. Classic. This, this is our home port every two weeks. Really? So Bridgetown is just, it is brilliant and it is just a great vibrant feel. You've got great beaches there, great facilities, um, and uh, de definitely one of the best places to go. Got to go to the boatyard. Yeah. Got to go to the boat yard, yeah. it's where everybody heads to, so really good beach there and good food. Then we're off to St Kitts. St Kitts is a little bit more of a, a rugged island. You've got the, uh, the main Port Zante, which is uh, the place to go to get all of your local Caribbean goods. Definitely the place to go shopping. And if you want to do some outdoor activities, then you can do. There's also a lot of the forts here that are worth uh, so the sort of like history of the Caribbean going back. Um, uh, plenty to see and do in St Kitts. And then you've got two relaxing days at sea back to Fort Lauderdale 
before you head back to the UK. Yeah, I think that's one of the nice things, you, you just hit it on the head there, about the Caribbean, often people think it's just beaches, 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 but it's steeped in yeah. history, some incredible history there, and what a beautiful ship yeah, to be this, on. This, so, is, this is a new one to me, because this is the new Royal Princess, it was the old one when I was around. Did you just see Seawalk? So, um, so you, you could walk out over the ocean? Yes, yeah, like wow. 28, 28 metres. Wow, um, above the over, sea? Above the sea, and it's like the promenade deck that goes around the front of the ship, wow. so... Uh, Absolutely fantastic facilities on board. Yeah, this is the new Royal Princess. So maybe you've been on the Royal Princess in the past, some years ago now, and she was a lovely little ship. But look at this, it's just gorgeous. And it's opulence at sea. And, and don't forget, on this one, apart from the, the Miami Hotel stay, you're also getting a free balcony upgrade on oh, yeah. this one as well. Yeah. So uh, defi definitely worth giving the guys a call. And you've got dates available for you in January, February and March. In fact, let's go through what you can expect so that one night in Miami Hotel, go out and enjoy it. As Justin just said, free balcony upgrades too. The itineraries differ slightly. Again, that just means you might do the ports in a different order. Don't think that you're, you're going to end up doing the fjords and you didn't realise it. No, no, nothing like that whatsoever. Uh, return flights from London, uh, all overseas transfers included. So great value for money. Let's show you the prices. Uh, from 1,400 and well, 1,399 in there. So there's there's a good one if you go February. But dates available to you in January, February, and in March of next year. And you've got the choices from inside through balcony and even through to mini suites as well. Well, we've got around four or five minutes available with you. So if you've just joined us or you only saw the last what, two, three, four cruises, let's take a moment to recap. What I recommend to you is get a pen or paper, um, write down the cruise ID numbers, write down the phone number because this is not our regular number. This is Planet Cruise you're going to be talking to. Free to call, chat to the team. They're waiting for your call right now. Just give me a cruise ID number and they'll talk you through everything you need to know. Got any questions, just call them. They're going to be open till 11 o'clock. So our very first cruise was Seven Nights to the Fjords. This is with Cruise Maritime uh, on the Columbus, if I remember rightly. Yep, a fantastic itinerary. You've got seven nights. You've got uh, on this one multi generational family cruise. So you've got some great kids' prices from £99 per person based on the 4th of August lead date. Uh, also, free gratuities for all the kids under 15. Uh, and a great single special price as well from just £759. Uh, pounds. Just bear in mind that depending on the date, the itineraries will slightly differ. Yeah, really worth bearing that in mind. Let's show you the Riviera now. This was the second cruise we offered you. Now, this is a river cruise. Four Night Rhine and the Christmas Markets as well. This is one where Tom came in and told us a little bit about it. Brand new ships, five star, and they are all suites on board. So how awesome is that? Dates available for you through December. So brand new five star ship, as you can see. Return there and back on Eurostar. If you prefer to fly, then flights are available. Uh, just talk to the team because they have got all sorts of airports available. You might be saying, oh, I want to go from Bristol. Oh, I want to go from Glasgow. Talk to the team and let them sort that out for you. And the ships differ dependent on the departure date, but just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. You want to tell us about Royal Caribbean? Yeah, Royal Caribbean, I mean, this Well, this, this is not just a cruise, this is a, a break. You get five nights in Bali, you get two nights in a five-star hotel in Hong Kong, and then you board a fantastic cruise ship from uh, Royal Caribbean, and you're getting to see Japan. Um, you've got the all-inclusive drinks package on this nice. one as well during the cruise. So on board the ship, all your drinks included, and also your return flights from London. And that works out at £100 per person per night, and it is deposit only. So if you're thinking, oh, I'd love to, I, I call that the bucket list cruise. You've got your holiday, you get the chance to see the Far East, and you get to cruise as well. Then we did a couple of last minute deals. I'll cover the cost of cruises one for you because I was lucky enough to work for them for six years. Amazing cruise line, really warmth, you feel it coming through. This is 19th of November this year, so we're talking just a few weeks away. And you've got some great Mediterranean ports as you can see on your screen right now. It works out, get this, this is one to write down. Cruise ID number 135794 because it's under 69 pounds per person per night. But it is a last minute deal, so if you want it, that is limited. Limited stock, we call it, but normally I do well but that really is limited uh, spaces available on that one. Family of four from £1,599. You can upgrade to an outside cabin, if you wish, for just £22 per person per night. So don't miss out on that. That's really one worth considering. Then we've got the P&O. You were P&O. So yeah, you yeah. One? So p and I mean, this is a classic uh, cruise ship. It's Oceana, so she's familiar. If you're a, a P&O cruiser, then this is a great opportunity to get some last-minute sun in because, again, this is the 20th of November sailing. Uh, nine nights around Spain and Portugal. You've got La Coruña, you've got Lisbon, Cadiz, Gibraltar. 
Um, and uh, with that, it is just £665 per person. Um, and that works out at an incredible 95, sorry, not 95 pounds per person. You can get the upgrade to a balcony from under 44 pounds per person per night. And you can add on an extra night if you want to travel down uh, and take the, uh, the hassle out of parking and the port transfers. You can stay at the Holiday in Winchester from just 95 pounds per person. That includes your breakfast, your parking and your port transfers. Phenomenal value for money, there is no doubt about it. Let's move on to the Celestial Cruises. What a great opportunity for anyone watching. Really don't miss out on this. We're talking about the Celestial Crystal. Uh, this is the one that's going to give you the opportunity to get out to um, Cuba. So please don't miss out on this. Uh, great looking ship. Don't forget, Justin was telling us this is a smaller ship, not giant ship, so it really makes you feel very uh, familiar on board. All inclusive, even the tips are included on this, which is not true of all cruise lines, but certainly on this one. Exclusive discounts from Planet Cruise on every sailing. And we have got dates available November this year, December this year, and even January and February of next year. Overnight on board in Havana. When it says overnight on board, that means you use the hotel like the, the, the ship like a hotel. You go on and off as much or as little as you want to, and your return flight's included on that as well. So brilliant value for money. That's one we told you that Jane McDonald had had a TV show on recently and afterwards the website crashed because they had so much interest it was so so busy then we go on to princess cruises yeah princess this is our last deal and what a deal it was around the caribbean 12 nights on the royal princess itself started off with an overnight um, in uh, in Miami, that's all included. You get the Bahamas, St. Thomas, St. Kitts, Antigua, Barbados, and St. Lucia, uh, and that's leaving on the 7th of February next year. Fantastic cruise. Uh, you get your free balcony upgrade yep. with this one. Yep. Uh, just bear in mind that itineraries will differ slightly depending on departure date, and of course, all of the details uh, on your flights can be discussed with the team. Then we've got the Christmas Market Mini Cruise, another one. We just squeeze this one in. You might want to consider these. Uh, you've got three nights, you've got two nights. So French Christmas markets from Tilbury, which is brilliant news because it's so easy to get there, isn't it? So if you go, where is Tilbury? So think of it as the Thames Estuary. We're over on the east side of London, really easy to get to. But £375, so brilliant value for money, or from £235. And then your two night from £199 per person. So just fabulous value for money. And again, write down the phone number. It's still on the screen right now, 0808 250 2662 and just chat to the team. That is your mm. best bet on these deals. And, and don't forget, if there's something that you know you want to try and you haven't seen, call the guys. You'll be amazed what we can do. Because they've all got first-hand experience of what it's like to be on a ship, and they've been on the ship, so they can really answer lots of your questions. Hey, Justin, a great pleasure to see you yeah, good to again. You I know you're off travelling the world again very shortly. <laughs> I'll be back next week. <laughs> well, be safe, have a great time, and look forward to seeing you again.